So today we're going to be discussing the evolution of agriculture and how technology affects it. Uh, I am J.D. Burrell and this is Paula Grill. All right, the agricultural revolution started somewhere in around the 15th century, but that was when farming was really simple. The 18th century farming started to change a little bit. We're going to talk a little bit, a little bit about what changed. Prior to the revolution, there was an open field system. This was cooperative plowing. This conserved the quality of land and a balanced distribution of good land. Farmers were part of a team. The Industrial Revolution was a significant turning point in world history. During this revolution, machines were used to manufacture goods. Prior to the revolution, goods were made by hand. With the advent of machines, goods were produced faster. This pr made production increase and prices dropped due to increase in production. These new technologies and new social economic arrangements allowed industrializing countries. First there was Britain, then Europe, and then the United States. This unleashed massive amounts of production and productivity. World's natural resources were exploited as never before, and it transformed the environment and human life in unprecedented ways. One of these ways led to the agricultural revolution. The industrial revolution would not have been possible without early adva earlier advances in agriculture. Farms became more productive and fewer workers were needed to work on the farms. More workers were available for factory work as well. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about the new technologies. Uh, minus the restrictions of the open field system, new technology and new farming techniques were implemented. Uh, the agrarian revolution, this happened in Europe in about the 1750s. Um, it was based on new agriculture innovations and it enabled increased food production and enabled sustained population increase. So as the population increased, they were able to keep up and keep producing food. Um, from the 16th century onwards, an essential organic agriculture was gradually replaced by a farming system that depended on energy intensive inputs. Um, for example, the changes in cotton technology, the flying shuttle uh, helped produce or helped weave faster, the spinning jenny made spinning faster, and water powered looms, and James Watt invented the steam engine. Uh, this all increased the production of British most important valuable product and was a huge export. Uh, the agricultural revolution, changes in farming that were cause and effect of industrialization and more effective farms. Uh, fertilizers were also invented at this time and fallowing, the idea of letting fields rest every two to three years, helped the, pro helped the crops be uh, better just for the people and it also helped them uh, produce faster and also crop rotation. All right, one of the main inventions in the agricultural revolution was the seed drill. Jethro Tull invented this. This planted seeds in neat rows so you no longer had to do it by hand. This improved germinization and reduced amount of seeds used in planting. And this is a picture of the seed drill in use. Some more additional machines that were introduced during the Industrial Revolu Revolution with the agri Agrarian Revolution was the horse-drawn cultivator. This was also invented by Jethro Tull. There was a cast iron plow, which was invented by American Charles Newbold, the reaper by Englishman Joseph Boyce, and American Cyrus McCormick. There was a self-cleaning steel plow by John Deere. The thresher, this separated grain from stalk there was a harvester that cut and bind the grain, a combiner, it cut, thresh, and, and sack grain, and then the tractor, it pulled equipment through the field. There was also a corn planter, potato digger, electric milker, and cotton picker. Um, along with this, it became scientific agriculture. There's something known as crop rotation. This is a vis invented by Viscount Charles Turnip Townsend. It's an alternating grain crops with wheat and barley and soil enriching crops, turnips and clovers. You no longer had to leave land fallow. Also came about with scientific breeding in 1725 to 1795. There was selective breeding of animals for use on the farm and it produced more and better animals. It produced more milk and meat. Okay, so we're gonna talk about farming today. Um, 
back then during this agrarian revolution, 90 out of 100 people were farmers. And they had to do this to have enough food for them to eat. Um, now today, it's only 2 out of 100 people because of the technology. Uh, being a successful farmer today requires knowledge of advanced technology, educational preparation, and business skills. Many farmers learn about the business and practice of agriculture through a training program at college. Uh, so now we're going to talk about the effects of the agricultural revolution. Uh, agricultural production increased, cost of foodstuffs dropped, uh, increased production of food resulted in a rapid growth of the population, uh, large farms used machines and scientific methods and began to dominate agriculture. Uh, also, the number of small farms began to decline. Also, the number of farmers, in proportion to total population, decreased sharply. Many farmers moved to the cities. The population of cities increased rapidly, and farmers found their work less difficult because machines performed the back-breaking labor. Farming changed from a self-sufficient way of life to the big business. Okay, so now we're going to go into some predictions about the future and uh, for agriculture. So basically, what we've learned here is that technology keeps advancing, and along with that, agriculture keeps following it. And also, the population keeps increasing, so the production of food has to speed up so that everybody has food to eat. So basically, um, some of the, a prediction that I have is that um, crops are no longer going to be made in fields and produced in fields and I think that they're they're going to be able to find a way to um, use LED lighting which technology keeps advancing that so the LED lighting and other types of lights are going to be able to grow these foods in buildings and then these fields will not you won't need fields anymore I also think in addition to that we're going to be increasing our production of gen genetically modified foods like you said, we're just going to be making our foods. There's not going to be a need anymore for the plows or the farms or the fields because we're going to be making our foods and genetically modifying those plants and foods in a science lab. And that's it.